All right, so I pulled the head off the engine to do a little bit of investigating to see how things were going on the inside. Um, here you can see the top of the piston, you can see the pistons. As to be expected, everything is very clean. Um, it's a new engine, so you kind of anticipate that. But I was looking for any kind of indication of rust, oxidation, any of it, um, none whatsoever. One thing that I did find were tiny little flakes of carbon. And what that is, is from running it on the gasoline for the short amount of time that it has, um, it built up some carbon, as all internal combustion engines do, uh, due to the fact that it's an incomplete burn and a poor burn. But running it on the hydrogen has been flaking it right off. It's uh, consuming it. It's so weak, it's even scratched off with a finger. So, to me, that gives me some hope. The valves have some of a residual, what would you want to call that, uh, buildup, possibly from running too much water through it the other night. But they still seal very well. You can see the spark plug right there. It's very clean. It's the, the electrodes are, are spot on clean, don't even look used. But the, uh, the carbon's coming off quite nicely. Um, one thing I did notice is that there is quite a bit of oil residue as you move the piston up and down, um, which lends me to believe that the rings have not fully seated. And to that end, I may run, put the carburetor back on and run it on gasoline for a while um, just to get, because it's the easy way to get the engine broken in. Doesn't require any electricity on my part. Um, I don't have to monitor it. So I can just start it up, let it run for 12 hours straight. The oil, uh, you probably can't see that, is very clean. No evidence of any water left in it. So applying the manifold vacuum to the crankcase seems to prevent the water buildup issue from blow-by, which is a good note to myself. Um, I was also making a note how deep the uh, chamber is. I'm going to go ahead and CC the chamber, measure its volume, and then I will measure the volume of the piston and I will get an exact um, compression ratio for this particular engine and I will know how to alter it if I so choose to change the compression ratios on it. So that's pretty much where we stand right now and I will talk to you guys later.